Okay, so it's salad, salad, no salad, and then the pizza's half pepperoni, half... lovely one you wearing a shirt of fun and good times never Even when she makes a complete fool of herself. Immaculate Chemical Company has four rescue crews working round the clock to save whatever wildlife that may have been inconvenienced by today's mishap. Look at her. Lying to the world without a flinch. Unconscionable. But adorable. Tell me something. How come either of you guys date Sharon? She's Sharon. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Pete, explain it. She's Sharon. <laughs> well, she wasn't always Sharon. I mean, you can't tell me that neither one of you guys ever tried to, you know, hook up with her. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what? It was back when we were freshmen. I remember it like it was yesterday. Hey, is this going to be a flashback? <laughs> yes, Mr. Bauer, it is. Love flashbacks. Bill, can we have some popcorn? <laughs> okay. Every Tuesday night at our college bar, they had this event. At some point in the night, they'd ring a bell, and from that moment on, all the beer was free. Right, right, and it stayed free until somebody either peed or walked out. And so it was thusly named Bladder Bust. <laughs> Blame it on the rain. <laughs> Man, those Milli Vanilli guys are awesome. <laughs> It's like the music sounds so effortless. It's like they're not even singing. Nancy dumped me. Pete, let it go. Help me pick a new major. Come on, first. No, I'm serious. I need to make a decision. Go ahead. Pick a major. Any major. Russian economics. Glad that's over with. I still can't believe she dumped me. She's at Stanford, 3,000 miles away. She's going out with the captain of the crew team. She's his coxswain. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> I, I, I really thought that, that she was the one. Give me the damn letter. Oh. All right, let's see what the rule book has Don't to say. Get out the rule book. It is section four, paragraph six. Get dumped, move on. No, no. I hope you get fat. <laughs> Look around you. College, a bevy of beautiful co-eds, and they all want to meet Pete Dunville. They do? Of course. At first, you're just going to have to remove that dead squirrel from your chin. You're just jealous because you can't grow one. You're just jealous because, you know, all the babes will be digging the new shirt. The shirt of love and understanding. <laughs> oh, so cute. Handsome. I prefer handsome, but thank you. Not, not you, that girl. Oh, 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 my God, here she comes. Come on. She must be caught in the shirt's tractor beam. Pete Dunville has officially moved on. Hi. I'm Sharon. Um, I work at the Greenpeace and Save Our Planet. Would you guys mind signing these petitions? Mind? I would consider it a privilege to sign those petitions. 
This one's to stop the lumber industry from clear cutting on public lands, and this one's to outlaw the hunting of whales. What a coincidence, Pete. Do you believe it? What? Pete, here's a lumberjack. <laughs> And I'm the captain of a small whaling vessel parked outside. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Ooh, the hard way. I'll, I'll sign. After oh. you have a beer with us. I can't drink. Then why are you in college? No, I'm on a juice fast. I've had nothing but vegetable juice for three days. I'm cleansing my system. Do you know how many innocent carrots died so you could be regular? You know what, I, I apologize. It's genetic. His grandfather on his mother's side was three-quarters obnoxious. Are you helping me? No, I'm helping me. Well, stop. No, I'm not gonna stop. I'm Pete. I'm Bird. I care. What are you talking about? I think it's the goatee. Please. Did you see her? She couldn't resist the shirt of truth and wisdom. This girl is totally my type, all right? She, she has conviction, she's principled. Yeah, 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 yeah. But underneath all that stuff, she's exactly my type. Naked. Wait, wait a minute, are you telling me that we're attracted to the same girl? My God. Pete, I think we've actually found a crossover girl. And you know what the rules say? Oh, not the rules. Section two, paragraph eight. Friendship before females, okay? That's that. Neither one of us can date her. So it is written, and so it shall be. Agreed? Agreed. Is everybody ready for bladder bust? Yeah! Is everybody's bladder empty? Yeah! Just check in. The whales sell themselves, but no one cares about the trees. I love the trees. You do? You know, as the next generation of architect, I feel it is my duty to, yes, design great homes, but not to the affront of the greatest architect of them all, Mother Nature. Oh, Pete, that's beautiful. Then you wouldn't mind helping me get some signatures. I'd, I'd love to. Oh, <laughs> Great. I gotta pee before they ring that bell. So, how's things with the planet? Huh. Like you really care? Well, I don't... I care. Yeah, right. Actually, whales play a big part in my life. They do? Just this afternoon, I had this delicious whale sandwich. Hold that. Lettuce and tomato thinly sliced between two mountain gorilla hats. <laughs> with some white rhino fries and a chopped cheetah salad, which, by the way, I spilled all over <laughs> my sea lion skin rug. <laughs> I am not laughing at you. I'm laughing at a joke I heard earlier. You must be a little slow. Nice shirt. Shirt of fulfillment and satisfaction. <laughs> you know, I'll bet a guy like you can just go up and talk to any woman in this bar. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I can. Great. Give me some signatures while I pee. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing with a clipboard? <laughs> I dare ask the same question. Have you no regard for the rules? Me? Me? What about you? Attention! Pete Dunville takes the rules uh -huh. and <laughs> spits on them. Well, Mike Bergen takes the rules on them. That's good. More. That's very good. But what are we doing here, huh? I mean, what happened to friendship before females? You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. I, I'm uh, just going to go return her clipboard. Me too. Only faster. Oh, Look how many signatures I got you. Annie Oakley, Barbara Walters, Helen of Troy. What, Helen? She just left. <laughs> Nothing. I got you real signatures, and I got the guy in the hat to stop eating veal. Well, that's great, but I'm really big. You know what? I know this little place down the street. Terrific! Maybe we'll meet you there later. Guys, I have to pee before the Ladies and gentlemen, bladder bus begins! Drink so free till somebody pees a flea! No! But we 
Please, you don't understand. I was just in there. I just forgot to wash my hands. Sorry. She's totally into me. Yeah. Maybe it's because of the shirt of dorkiness and I'm a big loser. <laughs> Pretty strong words coming from Chia Face. Okay, that's it. Rules off. Fine. May the best man win. My doodles are in there. and you pee in this. No way am I going to squat over some pitcher in a bar. What kind of girl do you think she is, huh? Guys, you have to help me. The last person who ruined bladder bust was blindfolded and left shoeless in a doggy park. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, just do something to take your mind off the pee. Okay, maybe you're right. Oh, sir, um, save the whales. Oh, sure. You know, I went up to Alaska last summer and went whale watching. It was just amazing. They would surf this one after another and squirt these huge arcs of water into the air. Never mind, we gotta go away! I'm sorry Pete gave you that stupid distraction idea. That was irresponsible. I gotta go! Uh, you have to let me out of here. The future of the planet depends on it. No problem. Oh my god, thank you! Hey, Phil, this girl wants out. Break out the blindfold. No, 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 stop. I was kidding. Joke. Big joke. Can't you guys take a joke? I was joking. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. I think my bladder is going to bust. No, no we're going to it, you two accidents. You're walking into this, you're going to get me out. Actually, Shut up and think. <laughs> I'll use my lighter. We get the fire alarm to go on. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. And, and burn wood, which comes from trees, which I love. You got a better idea? Yeah, 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 I do. Um, okay, maybe uh, I could pry loose one of these floorboards and we can tunnel out. Excuse me. Which one of you gentlemen would like to die first? <laughs> Okay, that might get us out, but how about you? Fight over me! How we got? You know, both of you vying for the love of the same beautiful woman. Winner gets the girl. Have you ever seen a movie? For God's sakes. I don't know what to do! Don't make me choose! I love you both! Hey, are you going to take that from him? You even look at her again, and you're going to wish your parents never met. Yeah, yeah well, um, <clears throat> pretty big talk, tough guy. Why don't you come and get some? <laughs> some of what? I don't know. <laughs> what do we do now? Um, uh, just, just wait for the bouncers to break us up. Looks like I'll see. Ten bucks on the bad goatee. Okay. Now what? Um, right now. Did you ever wrestle in high school? No. I didn't mean, either. I took archery. Oh, I used to love archery. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll pretend to hit you, and you go down. Okay, good, 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 good. Except I'll pretend to hit you, and you go down. No. You. You. Freedom and virility. <laughs> this is combed cotton. <laughs> Kick your ass like that. 
you okay mine yeah right but Bert, you're just gonna go out with this girl twice you're gonna blow her off just like you do with everyone well you're gonna go out with her once and start calling her the one she'll move to stanford and write you a letter but it was so low well it's true all right look why don't we just do this let's let her decide fine fine Ugh. i can't believe i just peed in an alley stick with us kid the world will be your toilet. You want to walk me back to my dorm? Who? Who? <laughs> Later. Where are you going? She decided. What? She smiled at me. <laughs> she smiled near you. She yeah. smiled at me. Uh -huh. yeah, right. <laughs> This is a dorm? You have nicer stuff than my family. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. He misses me. <laughs> so, uh, now what? I got the new Millie Vanilli tape. Oh, crank it up. <laughs> oh, but darn. What? God, my father just sent me the stereo, but it's got all these wires and things. It's just too complicated for me to hook up. <laughs> I could hook it up for you. Oh, that's sweet, but I think I'm going to just send it back. I mean, the room's so small, and the speakers take up so much floor space. Well, I, I can hang them for you. Great. Wiring's in the box. Put the tuner next to the lamp, CD player on the shelf, and for the speakers, there are hooks there and there. I'll go get a Phillips head for the antenna. Do you have the feeling we've been set up completely too complicated? How stupid are we? Very stupid. <laughs> She, she plays us against each other so we get her signatures, right? Then, then she has us beat each other up so she can pee. Then she smiles at us and we're supposed to hook up her stereo? This girl is a nightmare. She's like us. <laughs> Only a chick. <laughs> you know what, Pete? I'm gonna do her the ultimate favor and not date her. Me too. <laughs> Look what I found. You lured us back here to hook up your stereo. I can't believe Stop it. it. Okay. <laughs> well, you're an architect. I thought you'd be good at putting things together. Oh, I see. You needed Pete to hook up your stereo. So you, you really wanted me to come back because... You... You're tall enough to reach the hooks. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Just for that, neither one of us is going to date you. Yeah, well, I could have told you that. Sure, that's what you say now. <laughs> that's what I said that minute I met you two guys. You, I'm just guessing, always want to commit but can't. And you, you're just a Woody with a body attached. Yeah, she's good, very. Thanks. <laughs> you know, no one's ever fought over me before. Not even for pretend. Well, we had fun. Yeah, me too. Mm. Hey. How about dinner and drinks on Dad? Love Dad. Uh, what, what about your juice fast? Ah, uh, screw the juice fast. <laughs> oh, actually, I just heard about this great little pizza place. Love pizza? Yeah, right down on Beacon Street. Love Beacon Street. Love Beacon Street. <laughs> and the rest is history. That is unbelievable. You mean to tell me that place gave away free beer? <laughs> It's just bad business. Good, Bill. You really got the point of the story. <laughs> Bravo! Shut it. I just boldface lied to the entire country. What little dignity I had is now gone. Out the window. What are you knuckleheads looking at? <laughs> Get me a drink before I tear this place down. <laughs> you gotta love her. You really do. I remember when me and my best friend met this girl in college, we were to bled her bust. I just decided to major in Russian economics. This feisty blonde walked over. Could be the one. Maybe not. Anyway, she had this clipboard. Save the planet, save the whales kind of thing. She played us like a time store harmonic. So, Bill, we can have our own bladder bus, really? Sure. Anything to cheer up, Sharon. Oh, this is like old times. Bladder bust has begun. All beer is free till somebody pees or flees <laughs> or sneezes or speaks or a car drives down. Bill, that's Ooh, it. Bladder bus is over. <laughs> Get